I got in. I got in. Yay! Thank you, Lord. Hi, loves, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today on my um, health and fitness slash career update journey. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys some things that have happened for me in the past, uh, over the past week, actually. Um, so I know I've been in my A for a little bit, but life took hold of me and kind of like had me occupied and just trying to get to the other side of things that's going on. Still dealing with some stuff, but you know, my God is real and he'll get me through anything. So I'm just trusting and believing in him for keeping me encouraged. Okay, so the reason you came here today, you want to know what's going on with me. All right, so I got into my program for Capella University. I will actually be starting on May 5th, I believe it is. Um, once I check out, I insert it in probably right up here and let you know exactly the exact day. But I start my classes, everything's good to go. Um, I do orientation, I'm doing orientation as we speak. So <laughs> yeah, uh, as far as having two videos a week, we may have to cut back to maybe one. We'll see, we'll see. I'll try my best to try to make sure I still give you guys the content that you wanna see. Um, but my focus is gonna be definitely on like getting my coursework in and being productive there so I can finish in a timely manner. And I'm excited for that. Um, so yeah, that's my career update on my way, y'all. Uh, let's see. Health and fitness update. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, life got in the way and, you know, things throughout life happen, through a lot of emotions in my way and it caused me to, um, overly indulge in things that I wouldn't, that I wasn't normally doing month one and month two. So month three was kind of like a tough, shaky month because I had a lot in life to happen. Um, but we're getting better day by day. And I'm continuously working on getting myself back into the motion of um, working on my health and fitness because I'm no good to anyone else if my health is not in check. And I can't really like be a part of the things that my little one wants me to be a part of if I'm not um, at my utmost fitness level so I'm working on getting back into the swing of things um so I'm still stagnant at uh, 20 pounds I go up between up and down right now between 18 to 20 pounds so of weight loss um so I really haven't really gained back anything but I also haven't lost anything and like I've said in the past I want to continue to see the scale go down so sorry I don't know truck I don't know. Ew. I was trying to see if I was getting a delivery. I didn't order anything, so. Ew. So, just want to continue to see the scale go down. So, what I've done, I've incorporated a few things, and I'll share them with you guys. The first thing that I've incorporated is I'm going to be joining a challenge with one of my fellow YouTubers. Her name is Celeste Renee, and she has a 10-week weight loss challenge. And um, this past Sunday, April the 8th, 9th, 7th, this past Sunday, April 7th was our first weigh-in, but my food choices haven't been the greatest. I'm also embarking on a water fast. I'm going to do a 48-hour water fast for the next two days to kind of help cleanse out some of the things that I've put into me over the past two, three weeks. Um, to kind of help like reset things and to possibly, hopefully, prayerfully break this plateau. Um, so that way I can kind of get back into the swing of the um, health and fitness as far as my foods that I'm eating. And then also um, my workout plan and just making sure I'm getting back to keto, low carb eating. So keto Monday through Friday, low carb on the weekends. So I can continue to, like I said, see the scale numbers on the scale go down. Um, some non-scale victories that did that I did find out yesterday. I went to find a dress for um, an event that's coming up and I'm actually one dress, that's one dress size down. So that's awesome and amazing. So I did feel good about that. Even though the scale hasn't moved, I do have my non-scale victory up. <laughs> one dress size down so I love my butt I love my hips I love my thighs just need a smaller version of them so 
as far as dress sizes, they won't go down too far, but I do want them to go down, continue to go down. So, getting back towards keto and then low carb weekends, I'm also focusing on my fitness part of it. I've incorporated um, Leslie Sassoon, I believe that's how you say it, Sassoon, Sassoon, something along that lines. But I do the walk at home, well, you'll see that here. Um, these workouts really get you going and they make you sweat and they make you like really feel like you're doing something. So I really, really enjoy the workouts. I also incorporated in some weights here with Pop Sugar. Um, those help my arms. Like my arms aren't toned where they need to be yet, but like I can feel like muscles starting to form where before, like if I did my arm like this, like I didn't really feel muscle in it, but like now I can really feel like like I'm getting some muscle tone back into my arms. Um, they still shake and flab here and there, but it's okay. Um, I know I didn't put this weight on overnight, so and didn't lose my muscle overnight so I know it's gonna take some time for me to lose the weight and to rebuild my muscle mass back into my body I don't want to be too muscular but I do want to be toned and to look nice when I wear certain things or just in general and to be healthy and to be fit uh, that's where I am right now I'm in week two of the 10 week challenge so this challenge actually ends I want to say in the first and second week of June, which was around her birthday time, but my um, my goal is to keep going though until I reach my ultimate weight loss goal. But in the meantime, I'm doing this challenge with them to keep help keep myself accountable and to work with the group to continue to keep myself accountable. Thank you guys for being helping me stay accountable. But yeah, but if you're interested in joining the 10 week challenge with us, the 10 week weight loss challenge with us then check out Celeste Renee's page. I'll include her information in the description box down below. So definitely click on her link and kind of see what she's talking about. She is a wonderful person, has a great personality, and you will enjoy watching her. Um, so definitely check her out. That would be a nice thing to do, y'all, for real. No, but no, seriously, definitely check her out. And if you want to join us, go ahead and join her. Tell her you came from my page and that you're going to join the challenge with us. And yeah, um, I'm working on... What I, another what I eat in a day video for you guys so I can share that out. Um, I'm going to try to make sure I do those as far as um, with my updates um, weekly. Try to do what I eat in a day for you all. And yeah. Oh, my craft room is almost done. I've got a few more things left to go with it. And then I'll be showing you a craft room tour. I'm excited for what it looks like. Um, me, You get to see the back of me right now. And that's just like a sneak peek of what the craft room looks like. You see that every time I record this type of video, but you get to see the whole thing once I'm done. I've like literally got like maybe a few more things to do, like some pictures on the wall and just like tidy up, like organize some stuff, but I'm excited y'all. So once that goes up, of course you're gonna see some more DIY videos like coming at you. When I'm in this room, like my creative juices just flow. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, but, so that's all I got today, but thanks guys for watching. If you like this video or like the content and you feel like someone else can benefit from it, please don't forget to share, like, comment, and if you are not already subscribed to this channel, what you waiting for? I'd like for you to join us. <laughs> thanks loves. Be blessed and less stress. Shanti Speaks.